Hello everyone, uh, the topic we cover today is uh, uh, genetic counselling. Uh, first we will see about the introductions. Uh, genetic uh, disorders are uh, uh, very vital problems uh, in all the countries. Uh, if you see early detection of the uh, genetic disorders and prevention of this inheritance is the major uh, uh, health uh, benefit for all the individuals and the families uh, uh, can be done. Uh, first, uh, we will see what is the meaning of uh, genetics. Genetics, it is the branch of uh, 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 science which uh, deals with uh, uh, genes and the expression of the characters from one generation to the another generations. And uh, what is genetic counseling? The counseling uh, that is the uh, education and the information uh, uh, giving to the individual and the family members uh, regarding the uh, genetic uh, uh, disorders and the transmission of the uh, disorders uh, is known as uh, genetic counseling. Uh, so first we will see what is the uh, concept of genetic counseling. So concept uh, first one is uh, uh, we have to give a uh, general information to the family members regarding the uh, genetic uh, disorders and uh, complete medical fact about the genetic transmission. Uh, second one is uh, this will helps for the uh, couples to have an informed choice for the future uh, pregnancies and uh, third one it will clarify all the uh, doubts regarding the transmission of the genetic uh, diseases and next what is the aims of uh, uh, genetic counseling so the aims uh, uh, first one is this will uh, uh, decreases the uh, transmission of uh, genetic uh, uh, or inherited diseases uh, then next uh, second one is it will uh, reduces the impact of uh, uh, genetic diseases problem for the individual and the family members and uh, third one is it will give an advanced uh, uh, medical facts and knowledge regarding uh, genetic uh, disorders uh, diagnosis and treatment modalities and uh, this will uh, reduces the uh, psychological and anxieties of the individual and the family members and we will see what is the philosophy and objectives that comes under uh, uh, genetic counseling. First one is uh, uh, for the individual and the family members uh, regarding the detailed medical fact of uh, genetic disorders, uh, how it is diagnosing, uh, what is the uh, treatment modalities, what is the transmissions can be uh, given information during genetic counseling. Second one is it will uh, provide uh, the individual uh, or the family members uh, uh, to identify the risk of uh, transmission of inherited uh, genetic disorders and uh, third one is uh, uh, it will uh, prevent the recurrence of uh, uh, rec recurrence of getting the genetic illness uh, uh, by doing the prenatal uh, genetic uh, diagnosis measures and it will help the couples to uh, go with informed choice if they have any inherited diseases for the future uh, uh, pregnancies and uh, it will give a uh, psychological uh, uh, fear and anxiety reductions for the uh, uh, people who have uh, uh, already have genetic illness uh, uh, disorders of children. So, so, these are the main philosophy and objectives that comes under the genetic counseling. Next, we will see what are the uh, functions of genetic counseling. Functions one is uh, it will give an accurate uh, information uh, regarding the genetic uh, disorders and inherit disorders and it will identify the uh, risk uh, uh, risk of uh, transmission of inherited diseases and uh, it will uh, uh, give a detailed information about genetic testing and uh, gene therapy measures and uh, it will uh, identify the individual and family members uh, who are in risk of uh, getting the genetic uh, disorders and it can uh, reduces the complications uh, of uh, genetic disorders and it can uh, go with uh, uh, prevention of uh, inheriting uh, uh, diseases and it will uh, give a uh, psychological uh, uh, and uh, uh, support for the uh, couples or the family members uh, those who have the genetic uh, diseases these are the main uh, functions and clearly the uh, family members and in, uh, individuals can have an informed and right decision for uh, taking the treatment modalities of uh, uh, genetic uh, uh, diseases. Next we will see about uh, what, who are the beneficiaries or uh, indicators uh, for genetic counseling. So first one is uh, the couple who have uh, genetic illness children. So previously uh, they have the child who having the genetic illness uh, 
any inborn error of metabolism or any cancers uh, type of diseases uh, or any uh, genetic uh, gene related diseases uh, the children have uh, that group of people are uh, more benef uh, beneficial for getting the genetic counseling in order to prevent the second child or recurrent child for getting genetic illness. Then second one is uh, uh, if the uh, couples have any genetic illness and they want for any future uh, conception or future pregnancy. So for that they can go with the genetic counseling and uh, if the couples uh, wanted any prenatal uh, uh, diagnostic testing. Uh, for that reason they can go with the genetic counseling like amniocentesis, chorionic villi sampling uh, to identify the preg present pregnancy any uh, genetic illness are uh, there. Uh, then next uh, if uh, doctor is uh, uh, recommending you to do the genetic uh, testing then they can go with the genetic testing. If the family members any of the relatives they have the uh, genetic uh, illness children uh, they can go with the uh, genetic counseling. And uh, if their uh, father, mother have any inherited diseases and uh, they, there they can identify in future they are getting any uh, inherited diseases, they are more risk for get, uh, going for genetic counseling. And the couple who have recurrent miscarriage, uh, repeated abortions they have, uh, then that uh, couples also they can go with the genetic counseling. So these are the uh, beneficious groups they can get the genetic counseling. So next uh, we will see what are the principles that comes under the genetic uh, counselling. Principles this is a therapeutic uh, measure. The counselling uh, uh, sections they are getting uh, like a treatment uh, uh, modalities has to be taken. Second one is detailed uh, information uh, related uh, regard uh, diagnosis. Uh, measures has to be given, then next uh, treatment modalities and uh, testing uh, measures has to be uh, given for the uh, uh, individuals or the family members and this has to be done in an informed choice, informed their own uh, choice has to be taken. Both the couple has to be participated in the genetics, uh, male and the female has to be, husband and wife has to be participated in the counselling. And uh, next one is a proper communication skill has to be there for the counsellor uh, to collect the informations uh, of uh, histories uh, uh, from the uh, family members and whatever the doubt they are having it has to be clarified. And the measures has to be done in a non-directive approach, uh, has to be uh, done in uh, counselling and whatever uh, uh, their uh, last end of the choice has to be done by the consultant. So, so many therapies, so many measures are there, we can give the ideas uh, for the uh, 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 individuals or the family members or the couples, but the end of the choice has to be taken by the consultant, okay. And follow up section has to be there. So, these are the main principles comes under the genetic counselling. So, who will give the genetic counselling means a, a proper uh, counsellor will be there though have a uh, philosophy uh, degree or the master in the genetic counselling section. So, they can uh, give the genetic counselling more than uh, 4500 counsellors are there and apart from that uh, uh, nurse practitioners also can give the uh, genetic counselling uh, sections. Uh, they should get a certified course and they can also give the genetic counselling section. Next uh, we will see what are the um, uh, steps that comes under the genetic counselling. So, steps uh, uh, first if you see first one is assessment and diagnosis. So, assessment and diagnosis detailly uh, the individual family members or couple can be uh, uh, selected and detailed histories and physical examination can be done and proper diagnosis of uh, genetic disorders uh, can be done that is the first step. Second one is uh, uh, prognosis. So, we can uh, give a uh, marked, uh, the counsellors can give a marked education regarding what is the disease, uh, what is the type of disease, what is the prognosis of disease, what, uh, what are the uh, impact or complication of the disease, what happens because of this is detailed about the disease can be uh, given information to the family members, individuals or the couples. Uh, then next one is uh, uh, treatment modality, uh, modality. So, what are the treatment that is given for the particular disease can be detailedly given uh, information to the people. Then uh, uh, next step is uh, uh, genetic uh, 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 recurrence, recurrence and transmission of inherited diseases. Who is risk from father to uh, child the uh, can be get. 
from the couples it can be gone for the next generation so previous child is there next child can be affected or not so inherited risk from uh, one generation to another generations can be uh, given clearly and detailed information given uh, for the people and the last one is genetic uh, testing so what are the genetic testings and what are the treatment model gene therapy so uh, that can be given to the uh, uh, family members or the individuals and last one is follow up sections so end of the thing we have to give the uh, uh, people next sections they have to come and we have to give a detailed information regarding uh, what measures they have taken so what is the severity of the disease uh, whether they have accepted of prenatal uh, diagnosing test or not that all we can identify so these are the uh, steps that comes under the genetic counseling so steps uh, we have seen about uh, first one is assessment and diagnosis prognosis uh, then next uh, uh, treatment uh, modalities uh, then next one is uh, uh, we have seen the uh, giving the inform uh, inherited uh, risk is there uh, then uh, next genetic testing is the last one is follow up is there uh, then next we will see what are the types of genetic counseling types of genetic counseling mainly three types of genetic counseling is there uh, uh, prospective genetic uh, counseling is there retrospective genetic counseling is there expanded genetic counseling prospective means uh, future oriented preventions so if they have any risk uh, how to prevent in a future so if they want to go with conception so we can go with pre premarital counseling of a genetic section how the uh, male uh, male having any risk factors female having any risk factor that can be earlierly identified how it can be prevented so that type of is known as a uh, prospective future on retrospective means previously uh, previously in families or they themselves they have any illness how to uh, pre prevent in the present scenario so that is known as the ret retrospective counseling then expanded uh, genetic counseling that is all over the family members so any translocation diseases are there that will be inherited from one family member to another family member so the detaily they can give the uh, 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 genetic counseling for the family members so these are the three types uh, prospective retrospective and expanded type of genetic counseling then next we'll see what is the nurses uh, role in uh, genetic counseling so nurses uh, when we are meeting with the uh, people uh, we can have a hand in hand in given education uh, for the uh, for the individual family or for the couple so we can uh, uh, give in uh, prenatal counseling uh, prenatal counseling uh, if you see during the pregnancy time uh, so what are the test is available so like any risk mother is there previously they have the uh, genetic uh, inherited diseases children in born error of metabolism or any type of illness or present pregnancy or repeated type of uh, abortions are there this woman can go with the prenatal diagnostic measures like amniocentesis chorionic villi sampling scordosynthesis so dna analysis uh, uh, type of test can be done and uh, second uh, role in preconception period preconception mean before, before coming uh, pregnancy so how the uh, individuals couples can be counseled uh, if they have any risk they they have any inherited diseases or their family members have any uh, inherited diseases that can be identified and they can be uh, 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 they can be uh, go with a referral uh, so where the genetic testing is there where the gene uh, treatment is there how they can go approach so that measures can be uh, given to the uh, uh, couples so, so this comes under pre uh, pre conception uh, genetic counseling by the nurses and uh, prenatal uh, genetic counseling by the nurses and those uh, uh, people are having the children's uh, uh, of this uh, uh, inherited problems for them they can give a reassurance uh, and to reduce uh, the impact of the diseases what are the care can be uh, given and uh, to prevent the recurrence uh, of uh, uh, diseases for the future uh, children also and uh, uh, reduces the transmission of the inherited diseases so these are the main nurses role in genetic disorders so this is for all the today class so we have discussed about what is genetic counseling what is the concept what is the aim objectives and philosophy what is the functions and what are the who are the beneficiaries and uh, what are the indication uh, indications uh, then we have seen about what are the principles of genetic counseling uh, uh, what is the steps of genetic counseling types of genetic counseling then as we have discussed about the role of nurse in genetic counseling so i am signing mrs neema so next video we will meet again thank you